Hey guys, what's up? This is Dan from TCDCmedia.com, and I'm hanging out here with the Ready Set. What's up? How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing all right. Yeah. So uh, you're on tour with Hey Monday. Yes, sir. How's it been? It's been really good. The shows have been uh, really, really fun. The crowds have been great. Um, a few of the shows have been sold out, which is always fun. And um, everyone on the tour is great. A lot of, a lot of friends made, and it's just been a blast so far. Now I love like Whoa. Uh, peaked at I believe 23 on Billboard charts. Mm-hmm. How's it feel? Feels good, you know. It's crazy watching it, uh, watching it climb up every day. It's still like moving up the top forty charts every day, and it's it's pretty mind blowing, I guess. Like you know, being in a different city and hearing it on the radio. Like I've heard it a bunch in my own town, and then when I go to somewhere like New York City or something, hearing it out there is just like mind blowing. So it's, it's cool to see it, it progress. Had you ever think, you know, in a million years when you first started out making music that you'd make it on Billboard? Um. I hoped I could do something like that, but I never knew, you know what I mean? It was it was one of those things, like, I always really wanted things to be really successful like that, and I was just the kind of person who, like, would would kind of just believe I would just, like, work for it, I guess, and just see how far I could take it, just, and not, like, give up, so, no, not really. <laughs> now, uh, you just did a cover of Airplanes for Punk Goes Pop 3, uh, why did you pick that song? Um, well... Originally, there was a, a couple other ones I originally was going to do, but kind of at the last minute, I decided to do that one. Um, just because at the time when I recorded it, it was like one of like the top songs out there, and I was it, it seemed like it would probably be like one of the more familiar songs to, for people to hear and like be interested in hearing like a different take on it. Um, but the song itself kind of like has like the subject matter of it is almost sort of relevant to anybody who's like sort of starting to come up a little bit in the music world, I guess, because it's sort of like. Um, retrospective of like the past I guess when like you start making music and stuff so that's kind of I guess there was like a slight connection there for me so how do you feel about the whole punko series I mean obviously it's a great series don't get me wrong but punk goes um the ready set is n- no way a, a punk band I'm actually the most punk band on the face of the earth you can ask ask uh, Travis over here I am an anarchist and I um, what else do I do this? You are wearing a Dead Kennedy shirt. Yeah, I'm wearing a, a Glamour Kills Dead Kennedys ripoff shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm pretty punk rock, I guess. But um, no, it's pretty funny. I, there's, I don't think there's any. I don't know if 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 punk is even a term that could be related to that. I think it's just like the, it's probably like the brand name at this point. I mean, people recognize it, so you know. But whatever, it's it's cool. You think about doing like a, an actual punk rock cover of uh, Airplanes? Um, I probably should. I mean, the one I did is probably not quite punk enough for me, but, you know, I, I think I have it in me. I think, uh, yeah, I could work it out. Um, but speaking of covers, if you had to cover one song for the rest of your career every night, what song would it be? Um, oh, man, I'd probably just do the, probably bust out the cha-cha slide on the regular. Do some of that, a little slide to the left, slide to the right. Take it back now, y'all. I don't know, I just, I feel a lot of connection to that song, both lyrically and, um, and it just strikes a chord with me, so. In my high school, there were uh, people that tried to get that as the senior song. <laughs> it should have been. That's a really good senior song. It's very, you know, it really is representative of the, the whole like, feeling of high school. Just Charlie Brown, ta cha, real smooth, a little did 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 did, and turn it out. Everyone, everyone picks time of your life for like the vitamin C song or like. Having the time of my life, and I do the do the do 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 that song. That's probably like in the '80s, so never mind. The song was uh, I don't even remember because I wasn't paying a bit of attention to that thing. Don't you vote on that? No, no. Student government just takes liberties, and they make they, they always pick time of your life. <laughs> they always <laughs> student <laughs> student <laughs> dictatorship. Yeah, down with the government. <laughs> Woo, Travis. Travis! 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 Tra- Travis, what's this? What's this? It's an anarchy sign. If you could go back in any movie and put one of your songs in any scene of it, what song would it be? Um, I'd probably try to fit, um, let's see. I'd probably try to fit pretty much any of my songs in Titanic. Like, during the part where it's, like, sinking, I'd probably try to find a way to, like, get it just, you know, because it's so, like, dreary, and they're out, like, playing on the orchestra while it's going down. The party needs to go down. You know what I mean? (laughs) Um, So, yeah, it's probably Titanic. Maybe something like, uh, 
I don't know, shock a lot. Try to slide, slide something in there. Maybe, uh, what else do we have? What else is another, like, we could put something in the notebook. That might be nice. You know, I just want to. So we'll keep it keep it romantic and real. Saving, I could put something in Saving Private Ryan. Potentially, like I'll just put Toss Love Like Well in there, like as, as the ending credits. I, I don't even think I've seen that movie. <laughs> now, before you got signed, you did a tour with Broken Side. How about you tell us about that? <laughs> <laughs> um. I feel like I cross a boundary no, here. Not at all. You're the first person who's ever asked it in a tone such as that one. So I'm excited about this. What what tone? I don't know. It was like, so you toured with you were. I, I got the feeling you were like, so you toured with Broken Side. <laughs> <laughs> but no, honestly, I, I will say it wasn't the tour for us. We we got off of it early. Um, it wasn't like, for what I do, it wasn't exactly the best fit. But I will say that they are all really nice people they treated us incredibly well everyone on that tour was really cool so I don't have like a bad word to say about any of it but it just wasn't really our our scene I guess it was just kind of like we played and like everyone was just kind of like uh I don't know it was, it was too like I don't know there was a kid one night I think uh Travis broke his snare drum and this kid yells from the crowd that's why you shouldn't have real drums and that was the point where I was we were all just kind of like really like what do you want like jump around like to like tracks or something but yeah you know so you just got to take what tours are there i guess how'd you even get hooked up with that i guess i meant to i have no idea honestly i don't even i don't even remember that was like the couple weeks before i signed and like halfway through the two i was like so discouraged with the way it was going for us i was just like i gotta sign now and like make a change so like i remember i was like really discouraged and and, and uh pete once actually called me he was like dude as soon as you sign, we'll get you on some some tours that you'll actually fit on. It'll be good. And I was like, okay, done. So then I went out to went out to New York and got it done as quickly as possible. If your touring life had to have a theme song, what would it be? Um, I think it'd probably be the Cha Cha Slide. It'd probably be like you know the one part where it says um, five hops this time. Da 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 da. That part is when I, I get it and I'm like, I'm there right now. I'm at that point. Five hops. You know that, the other part in it where it's like the re reverse, the reverse. Dude, it, I just don't even. I can't even. If I talk about it, I'm gonna tear up. But everybody, clap your hands. Okay, yeah. Can we expect uh, the Chat Chat slide on the next Punk Goes album? I hope so. It, they should just do Punk Goes Cha Cha Slide. Yeah, just have everybody collab. On. Everybody, everybody does their own take of it. But it's just 12 of the same song. So I saw that Love Like Whoa chapstick out there. Mm -hmm. And I gotta say, that that's pretty awesome. How'd you, uh... How'd, uh, you, how'd you even come up with The chapstick idea, I'm not sure. I remember I was sitting at the um, Warner Brothers offices talking about, like, goofy promotional things we could do just to give to, like, the street team members. And, um... I think somebody was, like, messing with chapstick. And I was like, oh, let's just do chapstick. And, uh... We... I don't know, it's just one of those things, and it's it smells delicious, I think. It's got a nice vanilla scent to it, a little bit of a vanilla taste, which is lovely. Um, so, yeah, they're not hard to find. I don't know if you can actually buy those. Do you know if you can buy those, or if they're just, like, giveaways? Yeah, I think it's just for the street team. Yeah, so if you want chapstick, join the street team. Like, it's just so relevant, is what I'm getting at. Like, I just, I, saw, I think I saw it on Tumblr or something, and I'm just like, huh. Like, that's perfect, man. It is. I mean, it's winter. <laughs> lips are getting dry. Everyone's getting their kiss on, you know, chapping your lips up. So, you know, it's for it's for all the, the romantic kissers out there who just deal with that sort of hardship every day. You just need, need the chapstick. How do you even ask, like, a chapstick company, hey, can you uh, design this for me? Um, I don't know, honestly. I was just like, hey, let's do chapstick and let's make it look like this. And then I didn't know if they were actually going to do it, and then I just got a couple of them sent to me, and I was like, oh, they did it. I think my uh, my label just has um, people who know how to do things like that and who can who can just, like, make anything into a merchandise item. They got the chapstick connection. Yeah, they got the chapstick connection, the chapstick black market. <laughs> Any other uh, goofy promotional ideas that you have? Mm, actually, yeah. I don't, know where they're at. I don't know if we still have them, but we had these masks. We were gonna do for Halloween. That were like we we're gonna give them to everyone at the Halloween show we did, and there's <laughs> like a, a goofy like cutout of my face with like the eyes and the mouth gone. We have we have the mask here. 
We have the mask. These were supposed to be like a thicker kind of cardboard thing on a stick. And we were just gonna give them to people. It makes it look like I have a huge, like, really tall head, but, um... Yeah, I mean, it, it had potential, and we just didn't have the, uh, we didn't have... They just didn't have the workforce behind it to make it happen fully, so... It looks like that eye is bigger than the other yeah, one. That eye is quite bigger than the other one. Somebody chewed it out. Yeah, some sort of rat. We have rats on the bus. Rat infestation problem. Maybe you should do a ready set bobbleheads. That's a good idea. Foam fingers. Foam fingers. I've seen a lot of people do that, but the bobbleheads I have not really seen. So. Bobbleheads are legit, dude. It's really sick. Bobbleheads are forever. They are forever. Timeless. You get you get your chapstick that wears out. You get you get your you get your t-shirts grow out of it. Yeah. Bobbleheads. Forever. Forever. But anyway, I think that about wraps it up, man. Hanging out here with the ready set. Anything that you want to add? Um, albums on iTunes now if you want it. I'm alive, I'm dreaming. Check out my MySpace, Facebook, website, Twitter. Just type in the ready set on Google and it'll all pop up. Um, say hi. I'll say hi back. And we'll be friends. Also, slide to the left. Slide to the right. Three hops this time. Bow, bow.